Hi everyone, Katie here with Spilling Paint. Today I am going to attempt keyword a rain pour. <laughs> I'm not very good at them, uh, but I'm trying again uh, after watching a bunch of videos. I made my paint a little thicker. Um, and I'm going to try to keep my hands as steady as possible. That's my main issue is my hands shake. Um, my colors here. This is a sort of um, navy blue, I guess. Um, it's a mix of different blues and black and white just to get the shade I wanted. Oh, sorry, dog's barking. Ugh. Let me go see what that's about. Sorry about that. <laughs> uh, apparently mail was delivered. So, yes, we got the, the navy-ish blue here. Uh, gold. Let's see how thick the paint is. It's making a very large mound. A, uh, a teal. It's another mix of different greens and blues in this one. And silver. A pale silver. I added white. Uh, these are all mixes of Montmartre paints. Except the white is Saks True Flow. Heavy body acrylics. Uh, sorry, I hit my phone there. <laughs> Alright, let's get to it. I'm going to... Let's see. The last color I want out is the silver. So, sorry, my cup looks super dirty. Uh, all that is dried paint on the outside. I peeled out what's on the inside. Started to peel the outside and thought, mm, does it really matter? And stopped. <laughs> so, got our silver. I'm just doing one layer of each. I don't want to sit that in wet paint. Okay. And let's go teal. That is a lot of silver in there. That's okay. Gold. And the navy. All right. And I'm using my usual mix for my pouring medium. Uh, the uh, I'll have the re recipe in the description. Let's get to it. Um, <laughs> I'm just gonna dive in. Try to catch my drip here. Eh, I dripped a little bit. That's okay. Eh, well, I'll, I guess I'll see when I stretch it. I'm going to torch it real quick. There's a ton of air bubbles because I just mixed these paints. Alright, 
and I'm also going to pour a little white around just to help the paint flow so it doesn't roll over on itself. Just enough to really just wet the canvas basically. that just trying to get it up to the colors so they're touching Shoot, give me a minute. All right, sorry. <laughs> trying to get the toddler to nap and other people are trying to talk to me right now. When I'm in the middle of this. Just get this spread over to the edges. There's cat hair again. there too. Where did they come from? They must be on my clothes. Make sure there's no more. And I'll just put one right back in there. That should be fine. I'm going to torch the white. There's a few other bubbles. And this is white that I use for my Dutch pours, so it's quite thin. Um, it's just to help the flow of things, though. Alright, I guess let's get to uh, tilting. I think I just got paint on my face. That's okay. So I'm gonna go just in circles first. That silver really took over. I think I put way too much silver in there. I'm really wanting to do one with a nice bright red and a bright blue. I think that would look amazing. I've seen a few of them. I'm going to get over this corner and try to just get rid of that sil a lot of that silver. Do I want to leave some negative space there? I think I, I think I do. <laughs> There's so much silver. Uh. <laughs> what if I do a a little ring pour right here. You know what? Let's do it. Let's have some fun. Let me get a cup. Okay. I'm just going to
gonna do a little one right here same way just a tiny tiny bit of silver though just that much I think I want more teal Make sure I'm still in frame here. Yeah. Go to start right here. I don't think I'm getting any silver out of this one. That's okay, because there's a ton of silver already on the canvas. <laughs> Let me try to catch it. I think I actually caught it that time. So I won't get that line there. Give it a torch. Ooh, look at all them so. Whoops. And this is why you let your paint sit overnight if you don't want cells. Because if you got all those air bubbles, which you've got to pop, when you pop them, you'll see the color underneath giving you kind of a tiny little cells, basically. <laughs> I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but there's little tiny silver cells in the teal here. Well, it broke up the silver a little bit. So that's good. I still think it's kind of a lot of silver. I do like the negative space. I wonder if I... Oh, I'm about to ruin this, aren't I? I'm going to... Gonna slightly touch eh, that's not bad. Yeah, that's not bad. It's not just a line of silver anymore. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe I need to leave it and walk away. Um, I'm not quite sure. I mean, I don't think it's fully in frame for you guys. Let's scoot it up here. Oh, I'm just putting green paint there. Get some of this white. I might have to touch up some areas on the sides with white in these negative space areas since I didn't really pour the white over the sides and stuff when I was pouring it down. That's okay. 
I don't know. Let me go. Let me know what you guys think in the the comments. I'm gonna torch it one more time. Maybe I'll like it more later. <laughs> I still think there's way too much silver. Uh, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. I'm going to walk away from it, let it dry, see what I think later. Uh, I am really low on paints, except for black and white. And uh, usually it's the other way around. Usually I'm out of black and white. And that's no fun. Because we use those a lot. <laughs> but I do have more paint coming. I also have a new silicone oil because what I have been using for my flip cups and such is this. And it it'll give you cells, but they're not great. There's not a a lot of them. You gotta really work to bring up cells with it. Um and I've tried mixing it really well into my paints. I've tried not mixing it into my paints or just doing a, you know, about two little mixes, roll gently, folding into the paint. I've tried not putting it in the paint at all, but actually just putting it in, in between the layers when I layer my cup. Uh, I have tried putting it on a toothpick and poking with it and those made really funky cells they just they crack on the edges and everything it, they're bad it doesn't work um i've tried all of that and they just i mean they're okay i, I got some that turned out really great um but there's not a bunch of cells <laughs> and the Abundance of cells that on the or that are on the ones that I do like I had to really work hard for with tilting and torching and tilting and torching and just going back and forth back and forth over and over again um, Putting a ton of paint on the canvas. So I'm using a lot of paint to try to um, have enough to stretch the cells out and everything and I don't know It wasn't working. I ordered the the treadmill silicone everybody uses I, th I thought I'd try this. It was cheaper and, uh, you know, save money and whatnot. But honestly, I just, it does not work well for me. So that should be in the mail tomorrow. So I'm thinking I'm going to do some flip cups on tiles and uh, using that silicone oil, uh, the new one, and try to get those nice cells that I love so much, that everybody loves so much. Hopefully that works out. Um, until then, you know, I'm just, uh, I'll stick to my non-cell paintings. You know, my Dutch pours and uh, ring pours, kind of. <laughs> Didn't really work out for me, but that's okay. I tried. I will try again, and I'll keep trying. Uh, another one that hasn't really worked well for me are swipes. I can't do swipes. I don't know what it is. I've I've watched tons of videos. I've read tons of you know tips and tricks and and all that. And and maybe it's my silicone oil. Maybe it's that that's just making them awful. And I mean I guess that would make sense. I don't get very many cells and or they're just all clumped in one area. I don't know. But enough ranting from me for now. I do have more paints coming. Um, I do have more silicone coming. I uh, will probably try this again once those paints come in because I'm pretty much out of blue. Um, but I want to do the blue and red. Just blue and red ring pour. No other colors. Um, and like nice deep dark but vibrant blue and red. Nothing fluorescent or anything, but uh, I can't really think of how to explain it right now. I've seen some really awesome ones uh, using those colors, and I want to make one. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. Maybe I'll have a better video for you tomorrow. <laughs>
one that wasn't such a, mm, I don't know. I, I think it's fail. I don't know. Let me get know what you guys think. Uh, if you have any tips for ring pours, that would be great. And I'll catch everyone later. Remember to subscribe, share, check out the Facebook page. It's in the description. And uh, yeah, that's it. Have a good one, guys. Bye. La 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 la